kidney disease is often silent in its early stages, and as it progresses, you might start noticing signs of kidney disease not only from the inside, but also on your skin. Moreover, if you have any major risk factors for kidney disease, such as obesity, type 2 diabetes, or high blood pressure, watch out for these skin signs. Identifying them well in time can make a big difference in managing kidney health and preventing many skin complications associated with kidney disease. So today, let's learn about some of the most common skin signs that indicate your kidneys are damaged. Rest assured, everything we'll tell you about skin signs of kidney disease is fact-checked, evidence-based, and verified by qualified professionals. Let's begin. Number 1. Blisters People with chronic kidney disease and particularly end-stage kidney disease, might notice small, fluid-filled sacs or blisters on their hands, face, and feet. But noticing blisters on your skin doesn't necessarily mean that you have end-stage kidney disease or kidney failure. It basically means that toxins might be building up deep in your skin, and that can happen due to skin infections, a poor diet, certain medications, and excessive alcohol consumption. Blisters in people with kidney disease may differ in size and severity, and may cause pain, redness, and swelling around them. Even after they heal, they may leave scars and cause skin discoloration. Number 2. Dry Skin Dry skin, also known as xerosis, is one of the most common signs of kidney damage. In fact, it affects an estimated 50 to 80 percent of kidney patients undergoing dialysis. But dry skin isn't a sure sign of kidney damage, as it can happen due to a number of reasons. Factors like dehydration, reduced sweat gland activity, high levels of vitamin A which is rare though, and frequent usage of diuretics can also cause or contribute to dry skin. Xerosis can also affect and is very common in people with type 2 diabetes regardless of whether they have kidney disease or not. In this condition, the skin looks dry and scaly, that can easily crack, which often becomes itchy, and sometimes may even get inflamed or infected with bacteria. Number 3. Calcium Deposits Healthy kidneys can do a pretty good job of regulating minerals and electrolyte levels in the blood. But as kidney function declines, their ability to balance minerals, especially calcium, sodium, and phosphorus, reduces particularly people with CKD or already damaged kidneys often have high phosphorus or phosphate levels in their blood. When that happens, it causes the calcium to leach out of the bones and gradually increase in the blood. Another thing is that damaged kidneys cannot convert vitamin D into its active form, called calcitriol, which basically helps the body absorb calcium from the gut when we eat or drink calcium-rich foods and drinks. But when calcitriol isn't enough, the body tries to compensate for calcium deficiency by pulling out the calcium from the bones. Eventually, the calcium levels in the blood gradually increase. This can cause a number of health issues, such as kidney stones, arterial calcification, and even calcium deposits under the skin. Calciphylaxis is one of the signs of kidney damage that appears on the skin and indicates severe kidney damage. In this condition, calcium accumulates in tiny blood vessels under the skin, causing black or dark rough patches, painful sores, and ulcers on the skin. Studies show that it affects nearly 4% of the people with kidney failure who are going through dialysis. Besides calciphylaxis, calcium deposits in kidney patients can also occur near bones and joints, like elbows, knees, and collarbones. These deposits are usually firm and feel like stones under the skin, but are usually painless unless they appear on the fingers, and especially fingertips and toes, where they can cause severe inflammation, swelling, and pain. Number 4. Rashes Rashes that occur in people with kidney damage are not ordinary. They can develop without any obvious reason and are small, dome-shaped bumps that cause severe itching. This condition is medically known as acquired perforating dermatosis and is more common in people with diabetes and kidney failure. These small, itchy bumps usually affect arms and legs and sometimes can appear on the back of your neck, the scalp of your head, and your buttocks. 
Another way to recognize if rashes are occurring due to kidney damage is that they might go away when you apply anti-rash creams or ointments, but they come back soon and create more prominent lesions around the healed areas and form larger patches. It's also important to not scratch them, as scratching those bumps can make them go worse and increase their chances of spreading to nearby areas or other parts of your body. Number 5. Swelling Also known as edema, swelling can affect people with chronic kidney disease and end-stage renal disease. It happens when kidneys fail to balance the amount of salts in the blood, especially sodium. Sodium has a tendency to retain water, so when its levels increase in the blood, overall blood volume increases. This cannot just increase overall blood pressure, but can also cause puffiness and swelling in ankles, feet, legs, hands, arms, and face. If you feel puffiness in your hands or feet, press the top of your feet or the back of your hands with your finger. If it leaves an indentation, then it indicates fluid buildup or edema in that region, also known as pitting edema. Number 6. Changes in Nail Color According to studies, nearly 60% of CKD patients experience minor to major changes in nail color or structure. If you notice the appearance of white bands on your nails, or if the white band is on the top of your nails, while the rest of your nails have normal or darker than usual shade, it indicates that your kidneys might be damaged. Another common change in nail color in people with kidney damage is known as the half-and-half -half nail disorder, otherwise known as Lindsay nails. In this condition, the top half of your nails might look darker than the bottom half of your nails. People who have anemia whether due to iron deficiency, CKD, or long-term dialysis may also notice their nails looking paler than usual. Number 7. Hair loss. Hair loss is also very common in people with kidney disease. Several factors related to kidney disease can cause hair loss or affect overall hair health in general. One of these factors is nutritional deficiencies, especially iron and zinc deficiency. Another major factor is hormonal imbalances. Our kidneys play a crucial role in regulating gender-specific hormones, like estrogen and testosterone. Imbalances in these hormones can also affect hair growth cycles and cause hair problems in both men and women. Number 8. Changes in Skin Color When your kidneys are damaged, toxins and wastes can gradually build up in your blood, changing the color of your blood and hence your skin. In that case, your skin color may become yellowish, pale, gray, or blackish. In people with damaged kidneys, hyperpigmentation can happen due to the buildup of melanin under the skin. However, skin paleness, also known as skin pallor, is a sign of anemia, which is very common in people with chronic kidney disease. Another kind of skin discoloration in kidney disease is known as uremic frost. It looks like a white, powdery, salt-like appearance on the skin after the sweat dries. Number 9. Itchy Skin Itchy skin or pruritus is one of the most common signs that indicate your kidneys might be damaged. In fact, studies show that this skin sign affects almost 40% of people having end-stage kidney disease. It ranges from mild to severe itching depending on the stage of kidney disease. Damaged kidneys cannot filter out urea effectively. As urea levels in the blood increase, it also starts reaching the inner layers of skin via tiny blood vessels. This condition is also known as uremic pruritus, which is the medical term for itching due to kidney disease. Although itching can affect any part of the body, it usually affects the back, arms, and legs. It can also get worse if your skin is dry, you're sweating, or you're living in a warm environment. Scratching your skin can make itchiness even worse, causing scrapes and increasing the chances of developing skin infections. Number 10. Lumps on the belly Lumps on the back or belly indicate the presence of kidney cancer or kidney cysts. Kidney cysts are non-cancerous and are usually painless, but they can gradually damage kidneys and may cause kidney failure in advanced stages. As for kidney cancer, the most common type of kidney cancer is known as renal cell carcinoma, which stays silent in early stages and starts showing itself as lumps on the abdomen or back in advanced stages. It's a painful condition and its signs include blood in the urine, nocturia, or frequent urination at night.
rapid and unexplained weight loss, and constant tiredness. If you notice this sign or other skin signs of kidney damage that we've shown you in this video, do not ignore them and get yourself checked as soon as possible. Early detection is key to prevent further kidney damage and to ensure quick recovery. Give us a thumbs up if you liked the video and check out these videos too.